Hey YouTube, John here, back with another unboxing. And today, we're gonna to be taking a look at the Tarantula Quadcopter. Now, this quadcopter caught my attention about a month or so ago um, when it came out in the market. And primarily because it's a clone by design and name of the X6 Tarantula. So, pretty bold move by whatever company designed this. I see Drone Quadcopter here. I don't know if that's the name of the company the name of the quadcopter. Um, I think we'll know more when we get inside. Um, but I was definitely interested to see how this thing would, would look, feel, and, and perform, um, not only in relation to the real X6 Tarantula, but also as its own quadcopter. So let's go ahead and get this thing opened up. Let's open. So first impressions here, it's actually pretty cool because it was hard to say what size it was based off the pictures online, but it's actually like a mini tarantula. Um, you know, still has the same tarantula design, the legs are the same, the uh, prop guides are the same, but just shrunken down. So that's pretty cool. So let's take this thing out of the box and, and see what it all comes with. Um, looks like over on the side here we have a screwdriver, some screws probably for holding the prop guards on. Um, Two sprayer props, so that's kind of disappointing. I was hoping to get four, but that's all right. Um, and a USB charger. Uh, we have our transmitter right here. And the transmitter says uh, Raider here across the top. So again, I don't know if that's the brand name. I'm hoping to find an instruction manual in here somewhere. But um, just a sticker here, no, no buttons on the bottom. We have uh, trim buttons here and here. Um, I mean, the sticks don't feel terrible. They feel a little, a little cheap, but not not the worst I've felt. Um, these buttons are fake, and we have four uh, shoulder buttons here up on top. So we'll have to go through the instruction manual and see what they do. This over to the side here, and it looks like we have a twisty tie holding the quadcopter down. We do. Pull the quad out, and it is. It's just a mini little tarantula. It's pretty awesome. And uh, unlike the tarantula, it actually has an on-off button on it, right on the side. So right away, I'm definitely loving that. That's pretty cool. Uh, why don't we turn it on and see if we have any LEDs? Uh, maybe the battery's not connected. Let's see. Um, oh, you know what? There's actually a small Phillips head screw right here holding the battery door shut. So... Uh, Hang tight, I'll unscrew this and we'll see what size battery's in it. Okay, battery door screw removed. It opens just like a tarantula door, that's hysterical. We'll pull the battery out. And it is a 300 milliamp hour, 3.7 volt battery um, with your micro low C connector. So let's plug this thing in and see if we have any LEDs. All right, it's plugged in, turn the switch on, and we do. We have nice LEDs down here in the arms, just like the full-size tarantula. And what's nice I see here is they're shining through the arms. Uh, so it, I, in theory, it should be a good night flyer. We'll, we'll test it out and find out. But um, yeah, let's get this thing put together, and we'll bring it outside and take it for a quick flight. Okay, so assembly should be pretty straightforward. Uh, we have these two landing gear, and... You can see they just have these two little round pegs in the top and no screw holes, just a uh, press fit into these two holes right here. So we'll just simply push those right in. Just like so. And now it has legs. And then once the landing gear are on, we'll just simply put our prop guards on. And the prop guards um, have these two little pegs here. And those pegs are going to line up with these holes on the boom on the arm. And then there's just a small screw hole here on the bottom on like the LED lens. And that'll just screw right into the arm. So we'll take this. And it looks like it's a, it's a pretty tight fit. It's really tough. Um, it probably wouldn't be a good idea to take these on and off because you'll probably wind up breaking them eventually. Um, but I like to do my first flights with the prop guards on, and that way I can I can measure the uh, the flight time with the prop guards on. And uh, typically I'll just take them off and leave them off after that. But 
Um, I like to get flight times with and without prop guards just to give a full assessment of how not only what kind of flight times to expect but how it flies uh, with the prop guards on and off. So we'll just thread those on like so and we'll just go around and do the other four and we'll be ready to fly. And just one quick tip um, now that I'm on my second prop guard I found it's actually easier to screw on the prop guard first and then push these little tabs in afterwards. Um, just a lot less fiddly that way. So if you're playing along at home, definitely a lot easier that way. All right, so there it is all assembled in all its glory. The only thing left to do is take this thing outside and bring it for his maiden flight. All right, we're out here for the maiden flight of the mini tarantula. And uh, one quick thing I just noticed before I bind the transmitter is um, just a little quality control issue here. This right stick is sticking. Um, it doesn't stick any other way, up or down. It's just when you push it to the left. Um, there's a little bit of um, like excess plastic here, so it could probably just be cleaned out and it'll work fine, but uh, I just wanted to mention it. So we will bind it and take it for a flight. And first thing I'm noticing is this thing is absurdly quiet. That is insane how quiet this is. It's very stable. So there's low rates. Oh, that's actually a little weird to fly it with this binding stick. I'm gonna have to fix this before I do many more flights. Uh, there's low rate yaw. Oops, that's headless mode. Here's mid rates. So not a major pitch increase from mid rates to, from low rates to mid rates. Um, the yaw definitely did increase. And here's a uh, high rate, and what the heck? Whoa. Oh, yaw is... <laughs> this thing is a crazy yaw in high rates. It's really not flyable in high rates, the yaw is so fast. It just wants to spin out. What the heck? I mean, I'm just, just giving it the, the slightest bit of input, and it's, and it's spinning out. Um... I'm not sure what I feel about that. Uh, it's definitely kind of cool to watch it spin really fast, but um, not very useful as far as yaw goes. Uh, let's try a couple of flips. We'll move it back down to mid rates. Flips really good. Flips fast. Recovers very well. Particularly uh, considering that it's got prop guards on it right now. Wow. Actually flips very well. So yeah, that's all I wanted to do, was kind of just take it out for its quick maiden flight and get some first impressions on it, and it, my first impressions are mixed at this point. You know, it's got that weird binding stick issue that's that's really annoying right now, flying with it. Um, nothing major, but I probably will have to take the transmitter apart to fix it. Uh, and it's got that crazy fast yaw in high rates, which, um, you know, I know a lot of the manufacturers are doing that now, but I'm just not a fan of it. It's just, it makes you, high rates useless. Um, other than that, you know, this is mid rates. It's pretty stable. Uh, it flips pretty good. It, it recovers well. Um, you know, so we'll run through its paces. We'll we'll test headless mode and return to home, and we'll see what kind of battery life we get out of it, and we'll give you guys a full review. So, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Um, and as always, thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.